Yes, sir. There they are. I finally bought some nice coilovers for the Eclipse so I can finally lower it and get it off that ugly stock height. These things, honestly, they're pretty nice. You know, they have the uh, the adjustable camber plates so I can adjust my camber if I wanted to. I, I don't, I don't want to camber my wheels out. That's just ugly. So I think I'm for now, I'm just going to be lowering it. It also has the adjustable dampering right here so I can adjust how, like, I can adjust the dampering of it. So here are the coilovers that we're going to be installing today. But I've got two of them. My NK. Ah, I've got two of them loaded up right now. Um, I got two of them on the way. Two of my rims on the way. They should be here like, <clears throat> like in 10 minutes. <laughs> Is that Kevin Martinez? Yeah. <gasps> look at him. Look at him. Kevin, Kevin Martinez. <laughs> the Kevin Martinez is here. But no, here are the rims that we're going to be installing today. I've got two on the way. They should be here in like 10 minutes. Yeah, damn. Golly. They're pretty nice. They're heavy as shit. I know. I'm going to put it on the lowest setting. What does that mean? Like, I'm going to lower it as, as oh. much as possible. Sure as is. much as it'll allow me to. That's not a lot of grease. That's a fucking fuck ton. God damn. <laughs> Should I just put some in here? Honestly, it makes your brakes better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna strip that. You know what? Let me get a regular ratchet. Channel liner. You like my flamethrower shoes? <laughs> Frankie always gets confused with. <laughs> no, I can't even get to this bolt. You see? Yeah. Because it's fucking sideways. Because of this. Do hickey. I don't even need suspension. It's gonna fucking fuck up your hand. Never. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Broken. Man, this is why I like talking about cars. I'm not fucking touching them. <laughs> see how it's spinning? Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. So we have that there, right? Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. We take this one. Mm hmm. Don't spin it. Man. <laughs> Should have got up on YouTube before doing it. Did you? I did. Did you actually? I did. We don't need YouTube. I'm a mechanic. <laughs> mechanic. This thing probably hasn't been touched in 27 years. 27 25 years. 25 years. 25. Well, 26 now. It's a new year, new me. <laughs> <laughs> It's close to coming. Okay. There it goes. Uh, I think you need that though, Grayson. I don't need a sway bar. I'm gonna do what I need. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should do that. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> what the? <laughs> you struggling there? You're no. I'm kind of wiggling like. You have probably been <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we disconnected the bolts up here for the for the the strut, and then I disconnected the sway bar end link right here. I took it, took that bitch out, so I can get to this bolt. I cracked this one out. This is what's holding it into the little fork. It kind of moves now, so I want to see if I can whack it down and out the bottom of the fork. Yeah, I'll listen. Here. here, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna bring my damn rip. That's them. I'm just playing eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's just take off the bottom part. <laughs> do us. Do us. I do us. Do us. We'll do it in your way. <laughs> Probably the right way. <laughs> just wrong. I mean, it's fucking seized on there. Definitely not. Oh. oh. It's coming down. That's pretty good right here. Don't worry about it. 
It uh, lubricates your brake parts. <laughs> Keep them running for longer. The grease. At least a good, yeah, fucking hell, a good gun, dude. Oh my god. I'm never putting our coilovers ever again. Look at this piece of shit. Holy crap, you took it out. I think I lowered this one. I was, in, I, was in, I was in my room messing with it. I think I lowered this one all the way. Yeah. Yeah, it's as low as it goes. Oh, god damn. They are pretty heavy. Here's the comparison. You can see this one is, this one is smaller. Because we've been trying to put this little fork on the coilover. But it doesn't, it doesn't fit properly. So what I did is I tried to bend it and it worked. It bent this this side right here, it bent this side. But now this little corner piece, this corner piece is not fitting. So we thought we were just gonna grind it down, see how that fucking goes. Cause who knows at this point, I don't give a damn. I bet it's still probably Man, it's not gonna fucking fit. Oh my. <laughs> How about that? Uh, I don't know, Kevin. We're not putting it on. We just wanted to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so really quickly, I'm just gonna go ahead and run you guys through the process. Yep, look, I got gloves. I'm actually Chris Fix. Hey, yeah. So now, first things first, you know, obviously we gotta get these these uh, shocks and struts and whatever, whatever, whatever it's called out of here. So um, first thing I did is I went ahead and removed these three up here that are actually holding it into the, sh the tower, the, you know, the whole metal thing. And now, um. And then I went ahead and removed this bolt that's right in here. It's actually holding the pressure. It's holding this fork together, which is clamping on to the strut. And now I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the sway bar end link right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. All it is is you, you, there's a little thing you can hold back here with a wrench so it doesn't spin. And then you take it off, this will pop out. And then uh, in order to get the actual strut out, I'm gonna have to disconnect. The, the up, up to, I'm gonna have to disconnect the upper control arm that's right here. So to do that, I'm gonna have to take off these two nuts right here. So let's get to work. Let's get started. All right, so the nut back here that you can hold is a 14 millimeter. I'm gonna put it back here actually behind the brake line. And now I'm gonna start wrenching away. fucking gave up and I just cut the bitch all the way through it's off I don't care it's over with but I do have a massive slice in, in that now but I'll replace these fucking I'll replace the control arm end links or soy bar end links later down the road this should be fine the little slit in it it'll it's not gonna affect anything you know I may break and I may crash but that's <laughs> it's okay Now, I just need to disconnect the bolt that's holding in the lower control arm. You can see the bolt, it's right in there. It's been covered by this control arm right here. So I'm gonna have to lift this control arm up and pull the bolt out. Ugh. 
Right. Here's the fork. The old, the old one went on, and you know they don't, they don't fit together. So we have to bend this. Look at that. And we didn't even have to use a grinder this time. On there perfectly. Although I think it does need to go, it needs to go a little bit down more. Just a little bit, you see, so that the uh, so that this ridge in the coilover can line up perfectly with the spot for the nut, you know what I mean? So it's gotta go down just a little bit. Oh my god. Oh my god. It looks a lot better though. I'm definitely gonna have to raise them though. Whenever I put the, look at, look at this, barely any room. When I put my 18 inch rims on, cause these are 17s, when I put my 18s on, they're sitting over there in a box and there's two, two of the rims in the back, two over there in the box. Once I put them on, I'm definitely gonna have to raise it a little bit cause golly this is too low. <laughs> So let's get to putting these rears on. These should go a lot smoother uh, from what I've seen in the videos. So this shouldn't take a while. Looks like uh, in this little panel right here, I had to take it off. That's what it originally looks like. I just took this panel off. Um, There's just, you know, screws holding it right here. And then um, we just gotta take off these two bolts. Uh, it should come down. And then there's just one bolt on the back of this we take off. This whole thing should slide over and down. And then we just get a new one on. There's a lot less stuff we have to take off to put these rear ones on. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, good lord I got it. Thank goodness. Oh, that kind of hurt my hand though. All right, here it is. The bolt with two washers, but one massive washer. And there we go, just like that. Oh, there's the original rear, here's the new one. See, there's a pretty big difference, honestly, so it should drop a lot in the rear which is kind of scaring me because we already did not have that much room. But fuck it. <laughs> All right, gotta tighten up top. Uh, so now all we've got to do is lift up the suspension, put it inside here and tighten it down. A little bit more and then it slides on. Yeah. 
Yeah, these have been so much easier. Oh my god, the fronts were such a pain. They took two fucking days. This one took like 30 minutes. It's only because they didn't fit, really. And I had to take out the fork and everything. There we go. Good to go. I'm gonna tighten this down to make sure these are tight. All right, now I just gotta do the same thing to this side. There we go, done. All right, now all I gotta do is put the tires back on and we'll be good to go. All right, I went ahead and got all the tires back on and holy shit, this is the gap. Like, this is the gap before I even lowered it onto the ground under the weight of the fucking car. Oh my God. All right, I'm about ready to, to drop it down. So here we go again with a moment of truth. <laughs> Holy shit, dude, look at that fitment. Oh, dude, this car just looks so much better. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. All right, now I'm gonna see, I don't have money for new tires right now. These, the rims that I have on, they're 17 inches. These are 18 inches. And the tires that I have on are, are 17s, of course. And they will not fit these 18 inch rims, so. I'm gonna have to get new tires. And I don't have money for that <laughs> right now. So I'm gonna go to local shops and see if I can get them to, you know, just if I can trade my old tires maybe. Let me show you guys these fucking rims. They are, they are gorgeous. Here they are. Oh, good Lord. Woo -hoo -hoo. These things are beautiful. Beautiful. Um, I do have to go buy valve stamps because they didn't come with any. But just check these out, dude. Oh my goodness. Check them out. This lighting is so ass. Here. There you go. Look at them. Oh my. They are gonna look fucking gorgeous on this car. So I'm gonna go to local shops and I'm gonna see if that they will if they will trade tires I got on now. Oh. 